Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with um, a new type of reading that I'm trying for you on YouTube. And so this is um, a reading specific for the area of work and finances, or how you make uh, your money, how you earn a living, um, work, career, personal business, anything to do with work and finances. Um, and so we're going to keep these readings short because I want to be able to do them weekly. So uh, we're going to keep them short uh, and to the point in terms of uh, anything you may need to know, if there's anything you know you need a heads up on, any cautions you may uh, be looking at, or any opportunities um, coming to you during that particular time frame. We're just going to be using tarot cards for this spread, uh, just three tarot cards, and um, see where it takes us okay so i'm looking forward to your feedback let me know in the comments section if you enjoy the readings and more importantly if you find them useful because that's my intent here and it's very sunny outside and uh, my blinds are not really do, uh, doing a good job but uh, hopefully we can work through this okay so um, be sure to watch your sun sign moon sign and rising sign readings uh, to get a bigger picture as to what may be coming up for you and of course keep an open mind uh, some things may apply, some things may not apply. Okay, it's general readings for thousands of people, so do keep that in mind. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thank you for your support. I do appreciate it. So let's jump in, see what we get. Okay, have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hi, Cancer, and welcome to your reading uh, for March the 2nd through to the 12th of 2017 for Work and Finances. Okay, so we have some interesting cards here. I'm going to show you the cards and then we're going to dive in and get the messages. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card as your overall energy. Then we have the Nine of Wands that kind of jumped out of the deck. And again, I apologize for the light, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, the Four of Pentacles and the Justice card. Okay, so what we're looking at here. With the Devil card is your overall energy here. You may be looking at a Capricorn person as your main focus when it comes to work and finances for this time frame. Now, this could be um, someone you work with. This could be an investor. This could be a client. This could be um, someone who has a say in whichever way in your work situation, how you make your money. It could be a boss, a supervisor, or anything like that. Uh, with the Devil here, though, I'm also seeing unclear situations or hidden things like uh, uh, an office crush or, or a relationship with someone at work that you're keeping a secret. Um, could be a Capricorn or a different sign here, okay? And I feel like with the Justice card at the end of the reading, something will be revealed, something will come to a head, okay, uh, during this time frame. I feel like whatever this is, it's taking your focus away from your work, and so your work is going to suffer, okay, especially if it's to do with um, a physical relationship or an affair uh, with someone at work or, or anything like that, okay, with the devil. Any sort of like addiction that you've been trying to keep under wraps, okay, uh, like drinking, okay, anything that impairs your judgment. Um, slacking off on the job or anything like that, okay, if, if you haven't just been feeling like doing your job or you kind of haven't been feeling like you just want to give it 100%, okay, you've been dealing with a lot of different other stuff, um, I feel like that's going to come to a head this week. However, this will be a good thing. With the Justice card here, it's like a, a reset button where everything just goes back to the way it's, it was supposed to be, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. With the Nine of Wands here, you're very defensive about a situation or this is someone that you're dealing with. Uh, it could be a uh, fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, or, or um, Sagittarius. Um, this is someone who's very defensive. This is something that's been going on for a while and it's really been taking its toll on you, okay? It could be this love triangle situation. It could be this love affair at work or, you know, dealing with addictions or anything like that. Or it could, honestly, it could just be being overworked, okay? Too much work, too many responsibilities. Um, the, the, the boss just kind of, you know, stacking work on your desk. 
uh, giving you responsibilities that are not yours, um, having impossible expectations of you, asking you to work weekends, asking you to work long hours, okay? So it could just be that. But with the Nine of Wands here, it's, it's, you know, it's too much. You're at the point where you're thinking about just giving up. You're thinking about just quitting. Uh, you have financial concerns. You can't quit because, you know, you're worried about your money. But with the Justice card here, things will um, come to a head. This could be a, a conversation with the legal department. This could be a conversation with HR uh, where a ruling is made. And for the most part, I feel like it, it will be made in your favor. Uh, for those of you who've been above board, for those of you who have been doing the best you can and uh, trying to deal with the situation in, in the best way that you can, okay, the ruling will be made in your favor. Uh, for those of you experiencing more difficult energy, where you're focused on anything else other than your job or you're not doing your job properly uh, or you're not fully invested, you're not paying attention, you're making mistakes, you're overlooking things or anything like that. Um, the Justice card here can be a formal warning, okay, so I'm, if, if I'm seeing it in the card I have to let you know, okay, so um, it can be a formal warning or it can be a pay cut for some of you, okay. Remember this is not set in stone, you can always change this. Um, and it's not for everyone, it's a general reading, so try not to panic, try not to freak out. Um, if it does make sense to you, just kind of switch things around, okay, you can change the outcome here. Um, but the Justice card here is about being fair, doing what you're supposed to, doing what you signed up to do, okay, uh, doing the moral, the ethical thing, okay. The legal thing as well, with the Devil card here, something illegal may be going on, or you may be involved in something illegal, or you may be asked to be involved in something illegal and you're, you feel like your boss is kind of uh, twisting your hand on this. You feel like saying no, you feel like quitting and walking away, but with the Four of Pentacles you just have money concerns. You you know, you can't just walk away because you're, you just don't have enough money to make a living um, or to pay the bills or anything like that if you were to just quit on this job. For others of you, okay, where this ruling will be made in your favor, it could be that this boss is cut from the job, okay, they, they lose their job, or whoever this person is doing these things to you, uh, or pressuring you, or twisting your, your arm here, uh, it could be that that person loses their job with the justice card, um, or you're placed in a different position, or it could also be in terms of, okay, let's review what you've been doing. Uh, with your job description and let's see what you're actually supposed to be doing and what it is that you've been doing for you know for other people or that is the the responsibilities of other people and just clearing that stuff away so that you can just do what you're paid to do basically okay for others of you okay if you've been struggling with finances or you've been struggling to find a job and it's been a hassle, maybe even like further into back into December. Um, I feel like you could catch a break during this time. And you could get a contract, you could get a job next week, okay? Like around midweek up to um, the end of the week. You could be looking at a contract with the Justice card here. And it is something that you deserve, okay? It is the, the, the balance you know, the, the um, scales kind of balancing, okay? If you've been down in the dumps and really struggling, now things are being balanced and you're gonna get this opportunity. And it could be something in the legal department or in administration or for courts, working for a court or working for um, a judge or um, attorneys, advisors, even banks, okay, could be coming up for some of you here. Okay, so don't give up with the nine of wands here. I know you want to, but don't do it. Don't give up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Try to stay positive, okay? Don't give in to the, the, the mindset of the devil card, feeling defeated, feeling like you just want to give up and everything. Uh, keep doing, okay, what you've been doing. Um, it's going to kind of, it's going to get better, okay, basically. For 
For those of you, this is a court situation that you've been bat battling or dealing with for a while, maybe involving a fire sign or an earth sign. So fire signs are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, and earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And with this nine of wands, okay, uh, being the defendant, okay, you're in the defendant position, maybe wrongfully accused or some, of something, uh, or you are um, standing up for yourself, asking for what you deserve, okay, so compensation for something, uh, retribution for something, okay, um, someone you were involved with, either in work, who is doing illegal things, uh, or someone in your personal life who's an abuser, a manipulator, a bully, uh, alcoholic, problems with substance abuse, uh, anything like that. Things may have gotten physical, okay? Um, and a ruling is made, again, next week, towards the end of the week, a ruling is made. This will be made in your favor, okay? You're getting what you're asking for so that you don't feel so strapped for cash anymore, so that you don't have to worry about and we're going to have enough money to pay the bills tomorrow. Okay. And for others, it could just be a really busy time. But again, I feel like you're asked to do some things that are not on your job description or in your job description. But you're thinking about the money aspect. Uh, with the justice card here, you're asked to do the right thing. Okay, you're asked to do what is legal, what is moral, uh, what the right thing is. Okay, not putting money above your morality, that sort of situation. Not swallowing your your pride or um, compromising on your principles, okay, because of the situation. Okay, so that's your reading. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know um, what this is for you, if it applies to you. And remember, it is general, so it's definitely not going to apply to everyone. You know, this is for thousands of people, so uh, be sure to watch your moon and rising sign uh, to get additional messages, or uh, if this absolutely does not make sense to you, then definitely it's not for you. Watch your moon and rising sign. Okay, so... And also my guides are saying uh, the sign where Mars is in for you and your chart. Okay, there you go. That's your reading. I hope it makes sense and that it helps. Uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback. Thank you for joining me. Have a great time ahead. Try to make the best of it. Uh, and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.